What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Cameron. Hi, I'm Philip. Oh boy, Philip. And this is the So Well Garage. <laughs> in today's episode of let's build a turbo taco we have a ton of parts in we have got our intercooler all of the plumbing the piping uh we have that's actually going to be used for the power steering we have or the uh, expansion tank for the radiator a whole bunch of different stuff but we are going to be working on installing all of this into the truck um I have a feeling that we're gonna run into some complications with the intercooler and the piping for that, but yeah, is what it is. So we'll figure it out. So let's go ahead and start test fitting all this stuff up. So this is kind of where I'm thinking that I wanna put the intercooler. So right in here is actually a gap in the bumper uh, that I actually sold. So that's gone. Uh, this whole truck is actually getting converted over to a different front end, but Regardless on the Tacomas right in here is a nice channel So that way this is gonna be about as close as I can get to like a front mount intercooler All in all, I think that's gonna be the game plan for that So our intercooler bracket is all done. I'm really happy with how things turned out on this. But now I'm gonna go ahead and start moving over to getting the power steering set up. So one of the things that I didn't realize until I started fitting up all the accessories was that our power steering reservoir, well, is not gonna fit. There's little to no clearance there. So we have this fitting from Powerhouse Racing and that's going to take the place of our factory reservoir and then we'll have our tank over here. This is an AN fitting. So this is the general area that I want our tank to sit at. Uh, I've already decided on doing a battery relocation. So I have the same 10 AN fitting on the bottom here uh, and then our return port up on top. I started building this little bracket here and I think I'm gonna kind of set it in somehow like that. So I think this general area is where I want to go and I think I'm gonna kind of tilt it, kind of set it like right there. So let's go ahead and finish up the bracket on this guy.
our bracket is complete everything's looking nice it's definitely uh, still a little springy but nowhere near as bad as it was so let's go ahead and move on to actually routing that to our to our power steering fitting and uh, so that'll be that pretty much the power steering system will be done So after finishing some of the installation with the intercooler and the piping and everything like that, um, I had to go on emergency leave and go back home to Tennessee. Uh, it's never good news when you have to go on emergency leave. So a lot of stuff went on. It's been probably two or three weeks since the last clip that you guys just watched. Um, but anyways, I just wasn't really in like a right mindset and all that stuff and so videoing and all that stuff kind of took a back seat but we're back on it we're getting a lot of work done so here's some of what we did with the intercooler also as you guys can clearly see i've started wiring and uh, that is all thanks to Haltech. We have a Haltech Elite 2000 that we we're running on this build, and that's just kind of the route that I wanted to go. I tried using factory ECU and wiring and stuff like that, and honestly, it just, for what we want to do with this truck, it just wasn't the right way. So, you can see here, we've got our factory boot. I'm already working on getting our ignition and our fuel injectors wired up. But one of the cool things, or at least what I thought was cool, I was able to put the Haltech in the factory location for the 2RZ ECU. And then there's our connectors going up into that. But that is really going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm sorry that there wasn't too much going on with this episode. We took care of uh, you know, our power steering. We took care of our intercooler and all the other stuff. With everything else that was going on, it just, yeah, sorry guys, but that's going to do it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.